It starts off with our main character, Miles, getting ready for school. He lives in Atlanta and he goes to Martin Luther King Middle School. He hates black history or something though. He hates civil rights and shit. You make sure you hit those books instead of hitting that baseball when you get home from school today. Bottom line, no good grades, no baseball. But mom. No buts. Mwah. Permission slip for the field trip. Oh right, that dumb old museum. This came out in 1999. This shit look hella cheap, bro, already. This shit look like a Flash game. I'm sure y'all could've upped the animation budget a little bit, right? Captain Planet has PBS Kids type graphics. Miles is on his way to school, looking like Ricky from Boys in the Hood. These big ass snow plows oh on his God. feet. Ew, I'm about to fry your ass, nigga. Mario Kart ass shoes. Nigga wearing some S. Dot Carters, dirty ass boy. I don't like that shit. He goes to the bus stop and he's getting bullied by this bully. This old ass bully, he wants his lunch money or he races or something, I don't know. There's this running gag with the bully about him wearing little ass shirts all the time. That's pretty funny, I like shit like that. Low key, the purpose of the gag, I guess, is supposed to make you feel sympathy for the bully, maybe. He probably poor or something, right? He got problems at home. I get it, bro. This is not every bully, though. Some people are just assholes, for real. Where are you going, micro dude? Yes! No! Wild Man Willis! Oh, fuck! Oh, damn it, Ray! The boys almost get vehicular mass slaughtered by this drunk ass school bus driver. Is this supposed to be funny or something? This is not funny, nigga. There's no way I'm letting my kid get on this bus. Y'all gotta fire this man. Look at him. Miles goes to class and it's hella 90s in here. Everybody got on one earring and shit. The bully is here too, bullying niggas. Right in front of the teacher. Why is she doing anything about this? What is wrong with all these adults? Here's a 3-2 slider. Why? Real why? Miles, you'll work with Maria. Randy, you work with them too. <sighs> I'm doomed. Excellent. Hey, Miles, we're joining the academic dream team. Miles got this white homeboy, little country ass teenage boom hour. This is a super heavy ass country accent. They are in Atlanta, so it makes sense, I guess. This voice does not fit his character design, though, at all. Nigga look like Aaron Carter. Why does he talk like this? Miles, wait a second. You have gotten very complacent lately. When you're living in color, sports and entertainment are the only sure bets for making the big time. I'm recommending to Mr. Harris that you repeat a grade. What? If you don't turn your grades around, starting with the Martin Luther King Project. Dr. King opened up a whole new world for the entire country, and he didn't care what color they were. They go on a field trip down the street to Martin Luther King Jr. house now. Anime Whoopi Goldberg is here giving out tours or whatever. This lame ass field trip, bro. Nah, never mind. It's better than school, right? Nah, it's fun. It's fun. I love you, Martin Luther King. No autographs, photo shoots, nothing today. My good side's a little off. Stunning, aren't I? What, you want some dick? This is my favorite room in the house. This is Martin's bedroom. Take a look. Now, I don't usually do this, but I'll let you poke around in here for a few minutes to get the feel of the place. There. You boys have a nice trip now. Bye. They grab Martin Luther King's old wristwatch and it teleports them back in time. They run into some big ass Converse wearing oh ass. My God. Turns out it's Martin Luther King Jr. the whole time. Is this Martin Luther King, bro? This nigga look like my fucking Don Cheadle. It's your Martin. Martin Luther King Jr. You a baseball fan? You know it. This is Hank Aaron's number. He hit more home runs than Babe Ruth. Oh, right. I bet you're gonna tell me he's colored too. Go in the house. Gotcha. All right, Good job. Go. Some 1950s Karen comes over and starts being racist to everybody. It's pretty intense, bro. It's some heavy shit for a kid's movie. You people. Miles and I are best friends. We hang out all the time. I suggest you leave them Negroes alone or the only hanging you'll be doing with them is from a tree. You trying to threaten me? They do a random time jump and they end up on a train or something in the color section, of course. Martin Luther King is here and he a little bit older now. He's coming home from college and he invited these two randoms over to his house for dinner. Yo, that's crazy, nigga. Hell no, he wouldn't do that shit. He not dumb, bro. 
It's a cartoon, though. Say, why don't you boys come to supper at my house when we hit Atlanta? My mama's home cooking is hot, tasty, and unsegregated. Thanks for having us over. I'm afraid I've never met you two young gentlemen before. My dad is a minister, and he visits sick and elderly people who can't leave their homes. A man has no greater purpose in life than to serve his fellow man. Bro, they got hella all-stars in here. What is going on? These niggas must have had community service or something. There's no way you could afford all these people. So they constantly throwing in real, actual civil rights footage throughout the movie. It's pretty effective, I guess. It creates an uncomfortable-ass tone, at least. Like, am I supposed to be having fun right now or not? These niggas skateboarding and time traveling. Then it's a bus boycott and a real-life dog attack and shit. Reverend King! Reverend King! Reverend? Reverend? What's happened? Your house! Somebody bombed your house! My family! I want them to know! See what they tried to do to Reverend King? Well, if they want violence, we can give them violence! With guns and knives, bricks and bottles! Okay, so we got more All-Stars. Sam Jackson with the voiceover. That's a good choice. Martin Luther King is voiced by LeBar Burton, by the way. The reading rainbow nigga. That is not a good choice. This nigga sounds soft as shit. They should've got Clifton Powell. Should I kill you and wait for him? Or should I wait for him and kill him in front of you? Or should I wait for him and kill you in front of him? Or should I kill you in front of him? Or should I kill everybody in this motherfucker? When we want freedom, when we want it now. <laughs> Kids. Where's Dr. King's change? Not in Birmingham. They go back to the 90s and now they know everything about Martin Luther King. Even all the shit they weren't there for somehow. After school, they skateboard over to Martin Luther King house again. Y'all some education loving ass niggas. Now, why are you going there though? Seriously. You almost died, bro. You got attacked by dogs. Is that fun? Were you having fun, bro? Time traveling is probably hella fun though, you right. This Hispanic girl from Miles' class starts getting suspicious about his activities, so she recruits the bully character to help her break into Martin Luther King Jr. house? Oh hell no. What is wrong with people, man? Y'all going to hell, bro. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, hi guys. What are you guys up to? Time travel? You guys are beyond loco. Following you dorks was a major waste of time. Huh? <laughs> All the kids end up at this protest and they get the bully a normal sized shirt for once in his life. And look, even their teacher is here at the protest. Wait, what the fuck? How old is this lady, bro? She must be like 60 years old, at least. She look good though. Holla, 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 I holla. They take Martin Luther King back through the multiverse and into the 90s. That messes up the whole universe though and now everything is segregated again. His mom got a whack job and he got black and white posters and shit. That's pretty sad. They ain't invent color printers in his timeline. That's sad. Why do you even have this? Why would there still be a Negro League? Martin Luther King ain't have nothing to do with that. That was Jackie Robinson, dumbass movie. This is the future? If you're thinking of ripping off this skateboard, you've got another think coming. Huh? Need some help here, buddy? Buddy? Move it if you know what's good for you. Come on, Miles. We don't want any trouble. Maria! Si? No comprendo. No hablo inglés. Maria? No, por favor. I don't talk English, man. That guala guala stuff, man. Wait. Martin Luther King taught her English somehow? Nah, I mean, whatever. I get it. Miles has a sleepover with Martin Luther King. They not talking about girls or nothing. These niggas talking about civil rights, lame ass sleepovers. I've always had this feeling that there's something out there for me to do. My daddy says, first understand the problem, then figure out the solution. So long story short, Martin decides to go back to his timeline and he sacrifices himself for the good of mankind. It's a heart wrenching moment. Sad educational hood movie. Miles, we all have a destiny in life. This is mine. You go back. No. Please don't tell me anymore. Am I right? No! Martin, wait! Please, Martin! 
the timeline is fixed and Miles is happy and he got his life back. He gets an A on his history report. Whoopi Goldberg never faces any type of charges or anything. Like, these niggas was in real danger, right? That's not cool. Miles decides to make the world a better place, like Dr. King. He feeding homeless people and some more stuff. They had a bunch of this cheesy stock footage all over the place. It still look like a mesothelioma commercial. <laughs> You know, I definitely got nostalgic watching this. I think it's still great, honestly. It's educational for the kids and everything. All the black all-stars came together. They teach you about the civil rights era. I don't know, man. It's something about it. It's definitely dated, though. They do that old 90s thing where they make it seem like Martin Luther King solved racism. Like they all live in a post-racism world. These niggas live in Georgia, bro. Don't act like shit is sweet. That's a lie and you know it. Another issue, they high key ignore all the other civil rights activists. I mean, they give Rosa Parks a little slideshow, I think. They put Gandhi in here. Don't put this nigga in here. This nigga hate black people. Dumbass movie. The homie tune Riffic Tariq said it best in his video. It's like they use Martin Luther King as like a symbol for the whole civil rights movement. You know, it's like an hour long. It's just easier to do it this way. For the kids. It's for the kids. Happy Black History Time.